You're now rocking with the best Luminary Sounds, the number one station for independent artists. Yes, indeed. That was Bassy with Chet Baker tribute. Yes, yes. It was. How appropriate to come in right oh, after your boy. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's yeah. what we do over here that's at good. Luminary uh, Sound. Chris is over here crying coming after Herbert. Oh, man. After that, Herb Alpert. Shout out to my man, Junior Leto, over here. Like, he already knew the setup, and he set that up it, very it well. Was, it, was right. appropriate. Appropriate. it was appropriate. It was appropriate to to play Bassy. Yes, that alley hoop. Yeah, yeah, the alley hoop. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to get into it. Obviously, I'm going to light it up for. Uh, Basti with the Chet tribute. I thought it was really good. Mm -hmm. uh, it's obviously, this is a little bit of a producer's instrumental review yes. today. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Giving them some shine that Definitely. they typically do not get. There's nobody playing this on the radio but us. No, there, there, there's not. And, you know, um, I want to also, along with Basti, I also want to shout out another one of our, our, our friends as well. And we'll be hearing some more music from him. There's Mr. Jazz Groupies over there. Jazz Groupies! Well, right. You know, he's hey, working hey, on some stuff. Hey, first of all, I'm put, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get him next week. Yeah, of I'm course. I'm going to get him next course. week. And, you know, Jazz so, groupies, so, absolutely. Yeah. Um. And but talking about this review, this man, I love the music. The instruments are just great. I love the drums in the background. Oh, I yes. am definitely lighting it up. And, and uh, we're gonna hear more from you. I'm gonna definitely like check out your music, man. I love it. Oh, he has so much music. Um, I really love that this producer. Just like the one we had earlier, yeah. Uh, like rookie, they are all about the production, the yes. style. They and they, I, th I believe that you can go get their their albums, instrumentals, or you can like lease instrumentals from them as well. Oh, wow. That's awesome. really true producers, and you know, Dean, you know, you produce too. So you know, we def we don't have anything for producers really to no, we don't have their music heard or anything like that. You we know, don't. Something and we should probably start integrating. And I and rotation. I love that we do all that and we integrate those artists on our show here at Luminary Sounds because you are just as important as the artists that you know sing vocally and very well and, and very true very do true. that so that's awesome. What you, what you got, Missy? Oh, I'm lighting it up for the Chet Baker tribute. That's for sure. Um, I and it's funny that you guys uh, are talking about like the producing of it all because I was going to ask you. How hard is it um, to get recognized as a producer versus mm. as a Good lyricist question. or I don't know singer any of that kind of stuff? Uh, I, I'm uh, let Dean say something real quick on the mic, uh, just really quick about uh, producing uh, because yeah. uh, p people that listen they the may not know producer. some of the ins and outs. So can you explain some of the producing aspects since you produce? Well, instrumentals they were popular at. A certain time period because people were just making lots of good music at one point in time. Um, that was just straight instrumentals. It was just straight instrumentals. And like when would that if, happen? If you hear like swing music, like oh from yes, like the 40s, okay, yes, you know, maybe probably from about the 20s to about the 40s, 50s, mm -hmm. right? And then they started putting more lyrics because the musicians they wanted to start having people get them known. Yeah. You know, because they would have different circuits to where they would play. But it was like, well, how do I find this guy? They need to associate it with the artist. So right. it's like, oh, I could find this guy with this guy. You see what I'm saying? Cool. So I, I guess that's kind of how that evolved a little bit. I think know? it also for uh, producers, it's a lot harder um, if you're just hoarding your instrumentals and not giving them to other artists so they can, you know, get on your records and then you can get recognition like, man, that beat was nice. A lot of people said the beat was dope and, well, who made the beat, right? Mm -hmm. So you want to know who the producer is. So people like Pharrell, Timberland, like they've made a, a Jermaine Dupree, Diddy, they made a great... Kanye. Con, a con, obviously the great Kanye. <laughs> of course, of They've course. made a... Uh, Don't and, forget uh, him. <laughs> Junior Leto, I have a few beats too. I'm not on their level. <laughs> but uh, I like my beats. Uh, but anyway, but no, it's uh, it's... It's it's a lot of fun once you have your software program. Like I mean, there's producers right now that just they just your equipment kind of matters how far you can go, right? The best equipment you have, the more that you understand your equipment and how to, and if you can play, I mean, there's so many things you could do. I mean, mm -hmm. it's really important for producers to get their music out there so people can know that you're producing and making good music. So it's I would say it's harder than artists because artists are, you know, here's my song, check it out. Producers are kind of like, who do I give it to? I got to find someone that right. matches my style to build that relationship. So Right. Right. There's a whole set of other 
rules and yes yeah. there's a whole set of other rules it's a lot harder and you know there's nobody on the no producers and on then, the top 100 and then also as a producer you gotta think sometimes some artists just want something fresh they don't even yeah. want like a beat that you already have they're just like well i want something that sounds like you like know this oh, and oh, yeah like this and you know i want the the horns to come this way and you're sitting there is is this producer gonna be able to pretty much convey that and get that message across of what that artist wants because if they don't you know they they can't do it that's true very true very true I've so actually, go ahead i've actually worked with a couple artists and um that has come up can yeah. you make this sound you know can you make this do this and uh trying to <laughs> <laughs> yeah i already know where you're going <laughs> <laughs> Can you make my sandwich and cut off the ends of the bread like that? I can try. It's just right. it's very difficult to do because what you have in your head, you want me to get into your brain right. to you know create what you. I, I can't do that. I can just try to do it based on how you explained it so to that's me. That's a good question, man. You know, so yeah. so how many? How often do are how often are artists producing their own like doing their own? Um, Stuff, producing own, I would say I would say I would say in my opinion now there's a lot more artists creating their own now versus 10 years ago where it was a lot harder people are going to websites and they're you know leasing beats for 1999 <laughs> or you know what I'm saying you can only get 2500 plays or something like that yeah. and now like for myself I wasn't doing that a few years ago and then I had to learn how to do it on my own and once I learned how to do it on my own, I said, I should have been doing this. It's, Be right. It's definitely a lot easier these days with YouTube yes. and all of these. It's a lot easier. They show you how to, ways you know, yeah. to produce, you know. Um, however, I was producing before the whole internet era. Yes, yeah. And all yeah, that. yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's, it's different when you learn first with instruments mm -hmm, yeah. you know what i mean and then convert it mm -hmm, you yeah. know and then all, not just that but also in production learning analog before it was all digital yeah we, you know, we should have like a we should have like a, 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 a missy over here cracking up laughing <laughs> we should have a, a production uh segment or whatnot but we're going to get into another music group by otis kane but we will be back very soon the following message is brought to you by the ventura county alumni chapter of 